This week's People magazine profiles a California teenager who does some remarkable things despite his disability. This is something you just might have to see to believe. CBS News correspondent John Blackstone reports. In a pillow fight, 14-year-old Ben Underwood can deliver a dead-on shot. When a video game is going, his fingers fly. On his skates, he's fearless. For most teenagers, it's nothing remarkable. Car, car. I had a car. But Ben Underwood is blind. Totally blind. Hear the clicks? That's how he finds his way around. To walk down the street with Ben is to be amazed at what he can see with his ears. Well, there's a fire hydrant on the side and a car on this side. Wait, is that, no, that's a trash can or that, hold on, let me see. That's a trash can? <laughs> yeah, that's a trash can. Ben was just two years old when cancer claimed his eyes. Both were surgically removed. And he woke up from that surgery and Ben said, Mom, I can't see anymore, I can't see anymore. And I said, you can't use your eyes, but you got your nose and your ears and your mouth. From that day on, Ben has used his hearing, his touch, his sense of smell to conquer a world of darkness. It's sometimes hard to believe how good Ben is. Just watch the way he deftly steps around a fallen trash can. I don't know how you do that. Somehow, Ben has mastered echolocation. It's the same way dolphins get around, bouncing sound waves to figure out where they are. On a trip to SeaWorld a few weeks ago, Ben found that he and the dolphins shared an amazing talent. All right, ready? Out of the water, it becomes easy to forget that Ben is blind. Ha ha! That how else to justify my pleasure when I put a couple of goals past him? Ah, you thought you were so good. I am good. He is indeed. Ben beat me five to two. <laughs> Playing video games with his brother Isaiah in the assault of noise, Ben can figure out everything that's happening just by listening. How can you even separate the sound? Because they got different voices. Nobody is going to tell him that there is an impossibility for him because there are none. This mom ought to be teaching a course on, you know, how do you raise a kid who can't, who can't see well. Dr. James Rubin says Aquanetta has done exactly the right thing with Ben, never being overprotective, never putting limits on him. You know, I think the real story here is not, is not his talents, but, but his attitude. And I think attitude is what it's really about. We have to give our kids confidence. We give them pride. Empower him with who he is and be proud of who you are no matter what. <laughs> you can see where Ben gets his extraordinary self-confidence. <laughs> There's nothing that you can do. I can't do better. <laughs> and that's the attitude. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to give him. Watching him in action, it seems clear that Ben really can do anything. For The Early Show, John Blackstone, CBS News, Sacramento.